All right guys, so today I'm gonna to show you how to remove a shitty label that you don't want and to install and sew a label that you want. Shitty label that you don't want and a label that you want. So this is a good video if you guys want to, you know, start your own merch. What I'm doing, yeah, I'll just up the quality of your merch. So today I'm gonna to show you how to switch the two out. So first step, this is a cool tool. You need this tool. Um, it's called a thread remover. What you want to do is you want to take the thread remover, find one string and you want to scoop from the bottom and then lift from the top. Boom. So when you cut one side, you're able to remove the whole shit and you want to keep removing the whole thing until you reach about like the size of the label. So see how easily it comes off. And then you want to keep running the string and you want, you want to be careful because you don't want to overdo it from there. You know, you can just eye it. Boom. See, that's what we want. So after you finish finding the right size to insert your label in, take these. These are really cool, man. These are so easy to use. Um, I've been learning how to sew throughout this whole quarantine and it's pretty simple. So you want to just take this and then just like cut the edge. You don't want to cut too much of it. I like to have like a little slack, throw it under. Then you want to go behind, cut that, cut that. So you have like a nice and clear space. I'm going to show you how to set this thing up. So I'm going to be using like a charcoal black thread to sew these labels on. You're going to take your spool, insert the spool here, boom, then taking your black thread because it's going to be, we're going to do double black side and then we're going to put it right, we're going to put the thread right in the needle hole. Also before you put anything under, I like to test you know, to see if I have like the proper tension and adjustment. Perfect. Perfect. Take our shirt, make sure everything is all clear. Align it, drop the needle like halfway and make sure you backstitch first to prevent the threads from running loose. So you want to do a back stitch to lock in the thread, then a forward stitch. And then now slowly, slowly try to be as precise as you can. And then afterwards you want to back stitch it to prevent the threads from running loose. So we're going to go back and then boom, there you go the back cut the back and then afterwards what I like to do I like to just like flame the rest yeah flame the rest of it you know just light well I like to do that pretty dope right easy to learn you know all you gotta do is buy your own machine do it yourself and the thing is that during you know this whole COVID-19 shit all the, all these tailors were closed so I decided to buy my own thing and just do it myself. So it's so easy to learn. It's nothing too crazy. Just watch YouTube. That's what I did. And if you want to go the extra step, you know, what I like to do is I, I like to put like a little design, like a little stitch pattern here. So I'm going to be using, you know, this tan color for the top. And for the base, I'm going to be using red. Alright guys, so this is the final product. You install your own woven label 
on top of it a little design stitch you know just to make it look pretty cool you have a tan on the top and red on the bottom if you just want to be basic you know you want to be a little bit more creative there you go and that's how you sew your own woven label by my shit start teaching yourself shit because life is too short to rely and depend on people just live man Thank you.